What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my weekly recap review for Star Wars The Bad Batch. And in this case, it's going to be um, episode 11 titled Devil's Deal. So in this case, we head back to Ryloth where we see the Empire tightening its grip and the uh, um, soldiers, as far as the Republic Army goes, previously being welcomed as heroes, now being treated as the hostile force because of how they're treating the citizens. Um, the empires came in to um, build a factory and employ a lot of the um, citizens of Ryloth, so um, that's kind of where the hostility stemmed from. Uh, we do see the um, return of Senator Ta and his greediness, and then we have um, Cham Sindula and uh, a very young Hera Sindula, so um, we get to kind of see the um, beginnings of her reason for escaping Ryloth because of what the Empire is doing there. So overall, as far as um, this goes, we have very little of the Bad Batch, but we do have them showing up to supply some weapons and stuff to um, Cham Sundula's basically first officer um, in order to give them weapons in order to to um, theoretically defend themselves against the Empire. We have Hera going along on that supply run to learn her um, learn how to pilot a starship. So we get the beginnings of her training there and why she's such a good pilot. So um, overall, while not necessarily Bad Batch heavy, we do have um, Crosshair showing up. We do have the Empire and the furthering of the Empire tightening its grip on the galaxy. And in this case, in a minuscule way in the form of Ryloth. And not minuscule as in it's a small thing that they're doing, but in a like a microscopic portion of the galaxy as far as one particular planet that they're aiming to control. So this kind of lays some of the early framework for the reason why the various citizens of the galaxy and now the Empire uh, rebel against the Empire itself. So it was kind of like the formation of the various factions of Rebellion um, prior to any of them coming together and working as a team and that sort of stuff. So overall a decent episode. Um, it does a good job. So initially, like, so I watched the episode twice to go back as a bit of a precursor, but initially in watching it, it's kind of like, okay, great, we're going back to Ryan Loth. But the episode itself does a good job of comparing and contrasting um, the Republic coming in to help um, the citizens of Ryloth and now becoming an occupying force and not leaving. So you kind of get the reason why the people of Ryloth don't trust outsiders is because they don't know when, in this case why they might turn on a dime, they're going to be oppressed, they end up in slavery and that sort of thing. So it's good to see that we have Champs and Dula wanting to give up on war, but also kind of seeing that the approach might differ from others who might want a more aggressive and forward-thinking way of um, taking on the Empire. So overall a good episode and it looks like we're going to get more of this tie, this compare and contrast as far as the rise of the Empire and their standardization of the military and taking over the galaxy and then the rise of the rebellion in these various packets that and citizens that formerly welcomed the Republic but now are rejecting the Empire. So a pretty short review here just because um, there, if you watch the Clone Wars and you kind of get a progression of that storyline but if not then this kind of this is an episode that paves the way for what feels like is going to be the rest of the season as far as the, ri the continued rise of the Empire and how the soldiers who are the clone soldiers in the army are going to have to now continue to choose sides as far as citizens and people that they've uh, fought beside and fought for and having to go, either go against them to follow the empire or rise up against the empire because they know that the empire is not doing the right thing and the command structure is asking them to do things that are not um, welcome. So that's all there is for this particular review. So. As I always say, I look forward to seeing what they do in the coming weeks. So I'm hoping we get to see more of the Bad Batch being sent on these supply runs to various elements so they can see that they're 
is some that there's going to be various packets go of resistance against the empire, and that they're going to have to come to and make a decision as far as um, deciding what to do, how to help, and where their loyalties are going to lie, and whether they're going to do anything about it to help the people of the galaxy. And it feels sort of like Omega is going to play a, play a big part of that, and her ability to strategize very well is going to be potentially the framework and this is going to be speculation on my part but she's potentially gonna lay the framework for um the strategy and tactics that the rebellion uses against the empire because she does know all of those tactics and ways to subvert the system so that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedbacks, things I miss, Easter's of your own, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And if, of course, if you support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01, then you got a quick post of... Um, my update of where I'm at with Star Wars The Old Republic. So that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.